summer, we're going to be doing a ton of exterior renovation at my own home, and I wanted to bring you guys along for every bit of the process. And something that I'm really having a lot of struggle with right now is deciding what color plaster we're going to redo our pool. Our pool is a gunite pool. It's not a liner. Those, and there's also um, another option too, fiberglass. But um, the main two that you see around our area are um, gunite or a liner pool. Ours is gunite. And so that means that uh, it has to be refinished every few years. Ours hasn't been refinished since it was installed around 1985 or something. It's a really old pool and it's very, very overdue for a new plaster. So here we are um, having to do, to do that job and make these decisions. Um, if you don't know a lot about gunite pools, the way that they're installed is they dig that hole, they put in rebar, they spray the concrete in, and then they put plaster over it. And plaster is what you see um, that has the color or pigment in it. Uh, the gunite that goes underneath is a gray, just like concrete. So right now, they'll, they'll after we choose our color and the contractor comes in, they will sand off everything that's here, wash it, and then put the new layer of plaster over it. There are a ton of options. I'm just holding a few of the options for plaster color here in my hand. Um, and I've thrown several of them in the pool before. They all look really similar when they get down to the bottom of the pool. And I think ultimately it's going to be a decision of how it looks on these really shallow steps that I have um, in the pool. They're these big, wide, long steps and they're super shallow. So I've put colors um, down, like I said, in the deep end and I've also put them on the shallower steps. Things like this where you can see these small flecks of aggregate color um, and they look really beautiful. Of course, all these slight changes in color change how that water is going to look when it's filled up in the pool. So in the super deep areas, these colors look very similar to each other, but they look um, very different when you put them in the shallow area. So that's where I'm really making my decision here. Um, I want to bring you guys over there and show you what they look like when they're sitting in that area and maybe even show you what they look like at the bottom of the deep end of the pool. Um, it's light guys. Ultimately we're going to go with some sort of like white or blue shade. We're not going to do dark. You can go super dark with it. Keep in mind if you decide um, if you guys are redoing your pool at your house or doing a pool um, that if you go dark like this it's going to make your pool hotter. So if you're living in a more northern climate and that's what you're there for, you need your pool to heat up a little quicker to get, be able to get in it in the summer, maybe choose a darker color. But if you're down here in the south where we are um, and if you have a smaller pool, you might want to go with something lighter because this is going to give you a little further into the summer before your uh, pool starts to feel like a bathtub. We definitely don't want that feeling. You'll be throwing ice in there by July 4th. So let's move over there and I'll show you guys the different options for the colors that we're looking at. I've moved over to the steps of my pool. You can see how wide they are. They take up this whole width of the pool here. And then you can see the gradient, how it goes from super light here down into the depth of the pool and it kind of grades to that darker blue. You can also see how much it needs repair from all these chips. This is actually not bad in comparison to the deeper end, which you can see the gunite straight through that, that gray color I talked about earlier. Um, so I'm going to throw these colors in here and you can start to see what it would look like on this shallow step. And again, this is what matters the most to me because I have thrown these in the bottom of the deeper end of the pool and unless it's a really dark, like this blue color here, they all look really similar. So you can start to see um, what these will look like here. And then if we go deeper and deeper, what they might look like. If you look at the charts, it's a little hard. I would highly recommend if you're able to actually get these samples in your hand so you can either put them in your pool or put them un under some water if you don't already have a pool to help make your decision. Because I think the color chart that you see, it'll show you the color and it'll show you what color the pool water will turn. And it's such a slight difference between every one. I really like the idea of being able to put them in water and look at them. And then also to be able to touch it, the texture that happens on top because some of them are a little more rough than others. Um, this, was in, this one is extremely uh, smooth. This is called oyster quartz and this one is a lot more rough. So I think about things like babies sitting on the, this uh, level of the pool where moms are sitting here with their kids. Are they going to um, you know, pull little uh, holes in their bathing suit and things like that. Those are all kind of the considerations that I um, take into my brain as I'm considering all these colors. And ultimately, I think what we're, we're going to go with is this oyster quartz. I know it looks a little boring. Um, I'm completely aware that it's, it's not super fun because it doesn't have the flecks of color. But I don't love the way that these flecks of color look on this super um, shallow surface. I like this, this uh, very 
even color that we have here. And of course, it's going to create that um, same or similar blue to the other one. So I'm very comfortable with this. It's got a smooth texture. It's not going to pull a lot of bathing suits. It's not going to make those little wet feet um, have abrasions and things on them because your skin gets so soft after being in the water for a while. It's just all the things I think about. So. Um, just make sure that you guys are kind of taking all these things into consideration if you're considering either getting a gunite pool or replastering the pool that you already have. So if you guys have any questions, I'm going through this process too. I'm happy uh, for any suggestions you guys have, but also if you have any questions or comments, be sure to ask, put below, and we will do more and more videos about this entire process because this is not over yet. The contractors will come. We'll show you that whole process so you can be super informed as you do your project too.